hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl seraphic and today we are going to talk about five things a woman should never do with a man before i dive into the before i dive in into this topic i want to thank everyone that has liked my video share my video i want to thank you very much i really appreciate it each time i come to my channel and i see new subscribers it makes me happy I also want to thank those that have reached out to me to get one information or the other. My PayPal is always there. If you have any question, go to my PayPal and you always get, you always reach, you, once you reach out to me, I'm always available for you. Thank you so much for your support. So let's dive in into this topic. Five things a woman should never do for a man. Number one is accepting a joke behavior. When a man is misbehaving, he knows that he's misbehaving. So I was really uh, interested in talking about this topic because the last call that I have with a client of mine, um, she was pretending like she didn't notice that the guy is a joke. And the guy took that as a privilege to continue being a, becoming a bigger joke and at the end she was not able to withhold it anymore and she broke down and that was the end of the relationship so this uh, inspired me to talk about this because sometimes women notice that a man is a joke and they pretend like they don't know or i don't know they pretend like they don't know that behavior is a joke behavior and they continue with the relationship at the end men they know when they are fully around they know they are not stupid <laughs> some people think that they used to the one girl was telling me men are big babies men are not big babies they know exactly what they are doing the same man that is treating you like a joke will meet another woman that have a standard and do not tolerate such behavior and he treats her better so you have to stand up for yourself that is the game so if you don't stand up for yourself then he will continue to be a joke with you so five things a woman should never accept from a man number one is don't accept joke behavior if he's being a joke set your standard and let him know that you cannot tolerate any joke behavior and he, if he continues to be a joke then you have to step out and he will see that you don't you don't entertain bad behaviors either he comes correct or he goes to someone else that will accept such behavior but for you once you show that you don't accept such behavior you are making a standard for the next person even when he comes back he's not coming back the same if he chooses to come back he will come back better so but it's your responsibility to make this standard for yourself so say no to joke behaviors number two don't borrow a man money if you don't want to have a child a mother child relationship don't start your relationship borrowing a man money he's not your child he's a grown adult if he wants money or if he's broke he has friends that's why we have friends we have friends in the time of need they will stand by us that's why so if a man that you are just meeting is starting to ask you for money and you are giving him you are making him lazy you are making him not to be able to stand for by himself as a man don't borrow a man money don't do investment with a man that is not your husband don't put your in a man a, 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 the name of a man in your deed of a property that you are buying that is not your husband don't put in the name of a man that is not your husband in a car that you are buying he could come tomorrow and say that the car belongs to him his name is in the document his name is in the in the property document and he's coming with another woman to enjoy your sweat can you imagine that please my ladies be smart don't put a man's name in an investment it sounds like a joke but these are the calls i receive every day it's not a joke and i tell you the people that experience this thing are things people women that you don't believe that would, they are educated they are smart they are intelligent women that fall victims of this situation so don't think that you are above this it can happen to you if you don't know this thing that i'm talking about 
don't borrow a man money don't put a man in your deed in your property don't put the, the name of any man that is not your husband in anything if a man wants to be a part of your wealth he should wife you if he wants to enjoy the benefit that comes with you okay please don't make these silly mistakes that are avoidable since it's avoidable avoid it okay let's move on number two don't number one is as don't accept joke behavior number two don't borrow man money don't put you, the name of any man in your investment don't do that number three things you shouldn't you should never do with a man is don't attack his core sense of what no matter how angry you are don't insult the man like using words that you cannot take back don't behave like that that is a gutter behavior if you call yourself an elegant woman no matter how angry you are you can take a break if you are really hungry you can say let's talk about this later but don't insult a man with words that you cannot take back that's a no no don't do that don't abuse because once you say things that you cannot take back it's it's like cutting someone and leaving a scar on that person and expect the person to forget about the cut each time the person looks at the scar he remembers the cut so please no matter how angry you are be mindful of the things you say don't say things that later you will not be proud that you said such things no matter how angry you are don't use abusive words words that you know that if someone used them on you you will not appreciate it don't use them on someone else and, and uh, say that you are angry no matter how angry you are you have self-control you should be mindful of the things you say so never attack a man never attack him his core sense of what don't don't say words don't say things that you know that will break him don't intentionally do that because you are angry don't do it you will regret it if you do it because these words you can't take back so it's better not to do things than say sorry later it's better to avoid them you don't need to say sorry when you know you can avoid saying sorry please don't attack his core sense of what okay that's number three let's move on number four never come between him and his mother you can never win his mother know him since he was born you are just coming to, into his life you can never win between him and his mother that was also why you should marry right because if you marry right this will not be an issue because the man will always stand up for you you don't even need to say anything he will always make it clear to his mother that you are his wife and there is no competition between you two but in the sense that you did not marry right and a man is always on the side of his mom you have to train yourself not to be in between him and his mom because you will never win so if a man that you married is always siding his mom you have to learn how to deal with it that's why it's always good to choose right but if you do not choose right you have to learn how to uh, deal with it by not taking it personal so never come between him and his mom because he will always choose his mom i have not known a man that will choose his wife over his mom especially if it comes to an argument so you always have to work on yourself work on your character don't take things personal and develop the attitude of dealing with situation like this so it will not uh, break you down or make you feel like he's choosing his mom over you of course he will choose his mom over you so just learn how to deal with it or if you are not yet in a relationship in a relationship choose someone that will always stand by your side in situations like this okay yeah so number fifth thing a woman shouldn't do for a man number fifth one is never do the relationship talk never lead the relationship talk these are the two things that 
don't ever ask a man what are we <laughs> if you are feeling that you are nothing to him then step back he has to show you that you are something to him you don't need to be the one that will be bringing the topic of what are we it's not your job he should be the one scared of losing you and he should be the one bringing the topic up so never be the one to bring the relationship talk let him be the one doing it let him be the one that is always worried that you might leave him for someone else so the way you carry yourself will exhibit such energy if you are always obsessed over him if you are if you are always don't let him have space then you will be the one uh, he will be running away from you then you will be the one doing the relationship talk have a life have things that make you happy aside from him have friends enjoy your life without him have things that make you happy if there is no relationship what will you do with your life always ask yourself that question if there is no marriage what will you do with your life so do those things so that you will not be in a situation you will train yourself not to be in a situation that you are obsessed with a man you should be obsessed with yourself your success your growth your happiness what you are doing for your life what you are doing for the society those are the, the things you should be obsessed of not a man a man should be the eyes on your cake you are the full cake then a man is the eyes on top of it so never do the relationship talk with a man let him be the one scared of losing you and because he's scared of losing you he'll be talking about how he loves you so that you will not leave him for another man okay so bonus never chase a man never ever chase a man if a man feels like you are not good enough let him go someone that finds greatness in you will locate you that is how it is there's no two ways about it as long as you love yourself people will love you exactly the way you love yourself People don't love you because you don't exhibit love for yourself, that's why. If you show that you love yourself, people will love you exactly the way you show them you love yourself. So, love yourself. Never chase a man. Have your dreams. Focus your energy in fulfilling your dreams. Becoming a great woman. Becoming a woman that people inspire to be like you. Once you are doing that, you will not have time to chase a man. So these are the kind of advice I give people when they call me. If you want to book a calling with me, I am a relationship coach. I also am a life coach in general. If you have any issue, if you want to come to Austria, I studied in Austria, I came as a student here in Austria. So any question you have, hit me on my email and I will give you a number that you will call once you pay on, for my service charge on my PayPal, then you will hear from me. Any question you have concerning your life, your visa, concerning your relationship, I'm here for you. Just email me and you will get in contact with me. I will solve your problem. Together we will get solution to your problem, okay? Thank you so much for liking this video. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for commenting your opinion on this video maybe we'll do part two of this topic five things a woman should never do for a man we'll do part two if you enjoyed it and liked it and i will see you on that next part two okay bye for now bye bye